For all the insider information on the Chorus FTA, we have the pleasure of having Korea's chief negotiator for the negotiations that took place to make this deal go into effect, that is Mr. Choi sa -kyung. Hello, Mr. Choi sa -kyung. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Nice to meet you, uh, Park ji -si. Yes, very nice to meet you. Now, uh, we recently had on March 15th the effects, uh, or we are seeing the effects of the Chorus FTA. Uh, you must be very busy these days with that date. Yes, actually yesterday, uh, actually we uh, finally uh, got uh, this chorus FTA entered into force. Uh, it was a long time for, for us to wait for this, uh, the date of the entry into force of this agreement. And uh, I'm spending uh, quite hectic days for the preparation uh, of this uh, uh, FTA uh, uh, entry into force. And also the Korean government is, uh, is now also making a lot of efforts uh, to make full use of the benefits accruing uh, from uh, this FTA. We are also working closely together uh, with business circles how best we can capitalize on the benefits uh, we can get from this FTA as early as possible. Mm -hmm. um, I would have to ask you then, EU, US, these are two of the biggest economies in the mm -hmm. world and we have Korea that managed to seal these deals. Why do you think the U.S. and EU saw Korea as an attractive partner in that sense? I mean, how did Korea pull off such a big feat? Right. Um, there are several elements. Um, the foreign uh, trading partners uh, would seek um, the negotiating partner. Uh, I can just uh, say uh, a couple of things. Number one, um, the size of the economy and then potential for further developments and also the level of the openness level of liberalization of the economy uh, of the trading partner and also um, what, what kind of the values of the trading partners uh, would have. For example, uh, whether the trading partners uh, would uh, adopt uh, the market uh, mechanisms and whether uh, the trading partners uh, would support um, the democracy and whether the trading partners uh, uh, would be keen to protection of the human rights. Actually, seeing all these elements I just mentioned, uh, EU uh, can see uh, EU and the United States can see the Korea as the most suitable partner as a trading partner in East Asia. Well, I'm curious then, being that uh, you were definitely there for a significant portion of the ride to make this possible, um, what would you say was maybe the most difficult moment for you or for the team? Right. Um, actually, this negotiation um, took uh, more than one and a half years. And thereafter, actually, we spent also several years for the final ratification of this agreement in the uh, National Assembly of both countries. Therefore, there are many phases of the difficulties but I can just highlight the two phases uh, which I personally experienced as the most difficult time is um, actually I, uh, when I engaged in the additional negotiations end of 2010, actually it's a small uh, additional modifications to the already existing uh, the agreements. Um, actually that negotiations uh, focused on a small modification on the automobile sectors and also uh, some uh, small elements of the tariffs uh, regarding uh, the pork, uh, the tariffs, and also the, some pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical uh, issues. Um, actually, the negotiation took place a um, couple of months, but the negotiation was uh, so intense. And then uh, we also experienced huge uh, protesters, protests on the street. And uh, normally, uh, when we say, uh, uh, when we engaged in the negotiation with the foreign countries, normally um, the fronts, we are, we are faced with the two different fronts at the same time. The first front is uh, the negotiating front or with foreign countries, but the other front is the domestic fronts. Domestic fronts are mostly um, the stakeholders who are supporting these negotiations or sometimes who are not supporting these negotiations. Therefore negotiators should think about all these fronts, both domestic and foreign fronts at the same time. And uh, negotiators uh, must experience a difficult time when such negotiation would not get full support from domestic fronts. Therefore, 
it was it was a difficult time for me to overcome all this sort of oppositions uh, during the time of the negotiations. The second phase of the difficulties I experienced was the time of the ratification in the Korean National Assembly. It was um, October and November uh, last year. Um, actually, the ratification process uh, is uh, cannot be controlled by the Korean government. It is uh, the, the pure authority of our National Assembly. But this uh, political process in our National Assembly was uh, so intense and uh, opposition groups are expressing uh, their view against this FTA and they also uh, favor that uh, they would not have this FTA at all. Therefore, um, throughout this process of ratification, as uh, government officers, uh, I have to defend, I have to defend the merit of this FTA in the, uh, in the hearings or in the meetings of the relevant committee and plenary of this National, national Assembly. Mm. Now, one thing I found interesting is that when the U.S. is in talks with FTA deals with other countries, they have always hosted the final round in Washington, right. their home turf, right? Yeah. But interestingly enough, for the gross FTA, it was actually here in Seoul. Yeah. Uh, what, what would you say that, what was the significance of that? Yeah, actually, uh, we uh, also knew that uh, U.S. Uh, has, an, has a practice that they, they would have a home game always actually end at, 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 the, at the last round of the negotiations. Um, but uh, at the course negotiation, we just chose Seoul as the, uh, the venue of the last meeting. There are merits and also some demerits uh, in, in having this home game. Uh, I would say uh, first actually the two issues uh, we have to consider as a merit. Um, it is easier uh, for the Korean delegations to coordinate in horizontal ways with other authorities concerned when we would have a meeting in Seoul. And second, we can have a direct instructions from the top when we are confronted with the difficult situations during the time of negotiations. And the third one is um, the straight, uh, actually street uh, uh, demonstrators. They are also um, important actors in the process of the negotiation. They are opposing the negotiations, but the Korean delegations can make full use of that sort of um, uh, political situation in the place of the negotiation uh, with the U.S. delegations. We are always um, just referring to the street uh, demonstration to the U.S. negotiators see uh, this demonstration on the street, like we cannot give any further concession to your side. Therefore, uh, Korea just asked for the, uh, keeping uh, Korea's position as it stands. We cannot, we cannot uh, move any further or something like that. So uh, now with all the negotiation process through, uh, with it in effect, what would you say are some of the benefits that we can see from this FTA? Maybe we could break it down to short-term benefits, and what would you say are some of the long-term benefits? Right. I mean, short-term benefits is, uh, is accruing from the reduction or elimination of the tariffs. Um, as of yesterday, uh, March 15, around 80 87% of total uh, traded items between U.S. and Korea, the tariffs of all these items will be eliminated. Therefore, the short-term benefits uh, could be uh, coming from the reduction of tariffs. Therefore, exporters can benefit uh, from the reduced tariffs and they can sell their, their items in the market of the other countries with the lowered prices. Mm. And uh, this situation would please the consumers of the United States. Yeah. And at the same time, the consumers of Korea can also enjoy the um, actually quality uh, products coming from the United States with the lower prices. That is a short-term benefit. And we can also expect mid- and the long-term benefits because uh, the promotion of the trade and investment uh, will, uh, will make the economy more efficient. And then we'll, this um, situation would also enhance the productivity of the industry. Therefore, in the long run, the expanded trade and induced FDI, the foreign direct investment, uh, would contribute to the, um, the, the economic growth of the country uh, 
for the, with a long-term perspective. Therefore, we can expect also the growth of um, the economy as a whole. From uh, this course of PA, um, the institutions uh, have expected that the Korea's GDP would grow 5.7% for the uh, next 10 years. And we are also expecting 350,000 uh, employments, additional employments, which we can uh, expect uh, from uh, the operation of this FTA for next 10 years' time. Now, Korea has ratified free trade deals. I mean, the U.S. and EU, of course, these are very big ones, but we have deals with like 40 countries. Mm -hmm. And so what would you say is the significance of uh, all of this for Korea and our economy? Right. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the Korea joined uh, the bandwagon of this bilateral uh, FTA negotiations rather later than other, other countries. We joined um, actually by the turn of the millennium, this bilateral FTA negotiations. Therefore, in order to catch up with the other countries' uh, engagement earlier, then Korea uh, had introduced a, a sort of um, multi-track negotiations. It's a kind of several FTA negotiations with other countries at the same time. Therefore, so far, we uh, had concluded uh, actually FTA with eight countries. And uh, this, uh, the Korea-US FTA and the Korea-EU FTA uh, would be uh, by far the biggest FTA Korea had uh, ever uh, concluded. And we are also um, ex expecting uh, the conclusion of this free trade, agree free trade agreements with Colombia uh, and also Turkey uh, for this year. And we are also preparing for the negotiations of this free trade agreement with other countries, including China, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Mm. So this is definitely some moves that we are making to try to expand and boost, of course, Korea's economic growth. Um, thank you so much for walking us through. You said so yourself, five, six years in the making, but for covering that entire process for us. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And again, we have the pleasure of speaking with Mr. Chesong-yang on the process that the course FTA took.